god take the wheel i was so scared to film this video because i feel like i've forgotten how to do my sit down and talk videos um even though it's not been so long but then you know like when you don't do something very well you feel like you've forgotten how to do it anyway <coughs> hey guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome hope you guys are doing well if you're returning thank you very much if you're new please don't forget to subscribe right and watch my other videos i'm trying to get to 500 subscribers before the end of april uh i don't want to waste you guys' time with the intro for this video because it's supposed to be a follow-up for my two vlogs if you've not watched my vlogs please try to watch it before you watch this one so that you can like have more understanding of what i'll be talking about so today i just want to share with you my nysc camp experience i actually hate the fact that i'm dragging this thing on a low i hate the fact that i'm dragging it but then some people have been telling me oh do a story time that kind of thing and i'm like okay why not it's not going to hurt anybody so i just want to share my experience with you guys and also add um, a couple of tips at the end of this video so you would know what to expect what to even pack and you know just kind of prepare your mind for the whole thing NYSC stands for National Youth Service Corps. Uh, Corps, yeah, they call it Corps. It's actually C O R P S. I don't know why it's pronounced as Corps because they say Corps members. Anyway, uh, it is a program that was designed by the Nigerian government to foster um, some kind of unity and national um, togetherness because Nigeria is a very um, multi ethnic country like there's a lot of ethnic groups so many languages and you know there's different people from different places so the whole purpose of nysc is to help um young people get acquainted with other cultures that are not um the immediate area in which they grew up or the or the culture that they are familiar with so for instance i'm from the east i'm from eastern nigeria and they would want to put me like in the north so that i can get acquainted with um you know the culture and the lifestyle of the north now this program is actually supposed to be good but because of how nigeria is it's very scary if somebody tells you that they were posted to the north you get scared for them because there's a lot of insurgency and insecurity in the north so um when you're done with school basically that's when you when you finish uni you would register for nyc there's a time when the portal is open so like you can register and all those kinds of things like the the whole thing will be communicated to you like there's no how you will not know so um i was in batch a and i went for camp uh i think three or four weeks ago three let's say in march yeah. i was in camp almost all the month of march and um it was a very crazy experience so basically you're going to be posted to um wherever they post you to on the nysc portal like when you're doing your registration and everything you would pick the states that you want you pick four states one in the east one in the west one in the north and one in the south now i actually don't see the point of them um putting those things because i feel like they still they still throw people to anywhere they want like what are you putting the options for you're still going to put me somewhere i don't want to be do you understand we might as well just be moving mad together so um when i was registering i remember that i registered late and i was really really sad because by the time i was registering like a lot of people were registering as well and it was so we were so many that they had to move some people to batch b right so i still ended up being in batch a stream one stream a whatever it's called um and the day i went to register i was really i was very upset that day because somebody was supposed to help me do it and the whole thing went south so i was just i was just like oh god no god no and at the end of the day i was able to register but the states to be picked were not even available so that one already like <laughs> put my heart inside my stomach like i was i was very very scared by the end of the day i okay they opened it back and then i was able to pick and then one thing to another i was posted to lagos state now i didn't think i didn't think that i would go for nysc camp like I had heard so many stories about how um the place is it's like a very crazy place you know it's very like it's not something i'm used to all the stories i've heard it's just far from what i'm used to living in a room with like 12 to, to 18 people you know sharing public bathrooms like i know i went to okay i i don't want to use going to covenant as as an excuse but then in cu we're just max was just like four in a room 
and that was just for 100 level because as you get to 200 300 400 level you become like three people or two in your room so hearing that i have to go to camp and live with other people in the room and i'm such a clean freak like i just i hate when things are not clean or organized like it really bothers me so i was like there is no way in hell i am doing this thing i was talking to my boss one day about it i was like toby i don't think i am going to do this i was just like i'm going to die if i go there she was like yoda no don't say that you don't know your words are very very powerful don't say that and then i ended up going i was just like mm, if i go last class i'll just submit a medical report or something and tell them that i cannot stay and, and then i'll leave but i didn't i decided to stay and i was very very happy that i decided to stay um, when i went for camp like i said i was posted to lagos i met a lot of people like it was it was fun at first i wasn't happy at first i wasn't happy because one i didn't like my room two i don't like my roommates um i don't know i felt like they were very cold but at the same time i was just like okay maybe maybe it's because i just came maybe because i don't know anybody yet and then i also did not like my bed like there's bunk beds and mine was like close to the door and it was so close to the door and then i was on top like i hate being on the top bunk it's so uncomfortable for me and I was just like, God, I have to leave this room. I have to find a way to change my room. So fortunately for me, one of my friends was leaving camp and she was, her room, her room was upstairs. Mine was downstairs. So um, I went to her room. I was like, oh, okay, this is your room. So you're leaving camp. Let me just move in since you're leaving. And then when she left, I went to register again for change of room. And then I changed my room. Now, the room that I changed to was very, very nice because I loved my roommates. My roommates were so, like, they were so fun. Oh, they were so much fun. Dami, Chidima, Victoria, Muna. Everybody was just, like, I liked the room a lot. Like, we used to gist, we used to relate to a lot of things. Like, one night we were all randomly gisting and we we're just, like, I can't believe all of us are literally living the same lives, you know, coming from our protective parents and, you know, getting into scrapes and just telling different tales that young people would tell. So it was very nice. That alone already, like, made me calm down. Now, I'm um, talking about the sanitation. Well, you guys know we're in Nigeria, so I don't want to say this, but I feel like, you know, a lot of things are not the way they are supposed to be. A lot of things are mediocre. So when I went to camp, first time I entered the bathrooms, <laughs> hey, I was like, is it lie? <laughs> I said, is it lie? I cannot do this. I was like, I, like I was so, I was so sure that I was not going to do it. It was so disgusting. And like I said, I'm, I'm very conscious about cleanliness. So when I enter into a place and it's not even appealing to look at, to start with, and then the whole place is just messy. It just like, it makes my skin crawl. And to to god like on god i don't know which which of my personalities went for that camp and actually stayed because <laughs> it's so hard to believe that i of all people stayed so um the bathrooms were you know i won't say that they were very bad but if i read for me to read them on the scale of one to ten i'll just say three yeah three three and i don't know it was just it was just disgusting i used to wake up feeling disgusted i used to go to bed feeling irritated and whenever I would speak to anybody who has gone through camp, they'll be like, oh, just give it some days, you'll be fine. And they were right. So, subsequently, things stopped irritating me and I started getting used to them. Um, I started getting used to the environment, started getting used to the fact that, oh, this is not Governor University. And the minute I opened my mind, the minute I allowed myself to just let things happen, that was when i started enjoying it i started meeting a lot of people you've watched my vlogs now i met tishay i think she is like the best person i met in camp <laughs> i don't know i don't know why but i sometimes i feel like i see myself in her i see her in me so you get like i always i don't know I, i'm always raving when it comes to she but she was she was such a nice girl and what's what's made me to you know um really have a soft spot for her was because when i went for miss nyc the, like that night i was crying i didn't want to go again because i felt i just felt like i was not looking fine i didn't do my hair and i was just like oh god do i really want to do this but she was there even throughout when my makeup was being done like she was there with me so it really meant a lot to me because she was the only one that was there and i'm not like shading anybody i'm just saying like she just happened to be the only one there <laughs> um so yeah i loved my platoon members my platoon my platoon was it was very funny. There were very funny people there because 
at first <laughs> at first it seemed like we're not going to win anything it seemed like we were just oh platoon eight platoon eight like you know not be anything but um towards the the period like in that period um when we're in camp like we started winning things we won we came was it third in match pass we came first in drama we came third in volleyball so it was it was something it was nice sha like i feel like it was nice because i did not run away from the activities and i kept an open mind normally um i wouldn't i wouldn't admit this i wouldn't admit something about myself but i could be a little just a little bit um close-minded about things and not close-minded as per i don't want to hear anything else but um there's a tendency for me to you know think in one direction and it is it's something that i'm i'm consciously trying to change which is working for me by the way consciously trying to change and i didn't ever think that i would go for camp like my sisters i was always telling them like, oh my god no 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 no! the standard of living is too low i can never go there it's too dirty there's too many people in a room how would i survive with that much people you know <coughs> How would I survive with that much people? You know, it was like I was feeling like every single thing would bother me because of the kind of personality I have. But um, I learned to accommodate other people. I learned to understand that people are not always people. Not everybody can be like me. And I feel like when you start understanding that about life, like a lot of things become easier, especially when you leave an open mind for things to just happen. Leaving an open mind does not mean that you won't plan or you won't get things done. But it's that you're just, you know, flexible. You have to train your mind to be flexible. And that's something that I've, con I've, I've consciously been trying to change about myself. And I'm happy. I'm happy that I have. I'm happy that I did. And I'm really, really happy that I went for um, the camp. Because the people that I know now, I probably wouldn't have known them. Right? And I learned a lot of things. So let me just use the opportunity to tell you. In case you want to go for camp, um, in case you're going to serve soon, try not to chicken out. The first few days are going to be very difficult, right? It's not going to be easy. Now, no, like I, I can't even lie to you. <laughs> it's not going to be easy at all. But the thing is that um, when you open your mind to possibilities, to you know, positive things, you might just end up enjoying it. Now, I'm not saying that if you want to leave camp, you should not leave. If you cannot stay, please don't stay. Oh don't stay if you cannot stay but think about you know possibilities things that can happen and then also one thing that i was trying to do was was to mix up with people from other schools because in lagos camp like lagos yanukaja camp there were like a lot of cu people there like a lot of cu people and i intentionally tried to you know mix up with people from other schools because um i wanted to just you know have a new perspective of thinking i'm not saying that see you people think in one way but there's a way like there's a way things are you've been in an environment for a very long time those people around you and that environment itself would shape the way you think and it's nice to just like you know go out of the norm a bit just divert a bit to see um and understand people's perspectives on other things in life now, moving yeah. on to what you should expect during camp like I said, if you've not watched my vlogs, just watch it so that you can understand more. Now, we are always expected to wear white on white. So you're, you're supposed to wear a white t-shirt or a white shirt, whatever, with white shorts, right? Um, skirts are not, you're not allowed to wear a white skirt. Um, you can wear a Tikota, you know, shorts. Nika, what we call Nika. You can wear that one. But you must wear all white. Your socks, your shoes, your shirts and your, and your shorts right that's one two you always carry a fanny pack most people carry a fanny pack we all know what fanny packs are and a fanny pack is basically for you to just keep all your valuables so that they can always be close to you things like your phone your power bank your lip gloss your atm card your cash all those things should always be in your in your in your fanny pack now the thing about your fanny pack always keep it close to you like don't leave it on your bed and say i just want to go out with me carry it to go out with me <laughs> don't leave it anywhere because you don't know who is going to steal do you get i'm not saying that um you shouldn't be free but then you don't know who is a thief a thief is not going to write on his head that oh i'm a thief do you get so you need to be very very careful in my room um there were no thieves nobody stole and we had a padlock we locked the door and everything the only reason we even used to lock the door was because we no one's outside us to come into the room but no like no nobody ever re reported anything of oh my my stuff is missing my stuff is missing do you get 
and uh, okay there's that then another thing that you should know is that you should pack light see maybe maybe i should do a separate video on the things that you that you would need when you're going to camp but i will just list some of them out just try to pack less because when you get to camp they're going to give you your kits you know that nyc uniform the khaki the jungle boots the um crested t-shirts the jackets they'll give you those things and you don't want to like not have space in your box when you're going home because first of all there's there's not enough space for you to just keep your stuff anywhere so it's it's very good if you pack light and you know you can just keep all your stuff together instead of having one nylon bag here one box there one bucket there another box there like it's just it's going to frustrate you trust me because you have to keep your eyes on every single thing another thing is i remember to take padlocks for your boxes um try to get a box that can be padlocked like um how do i put it through the zip i don't know how to put it but like just try to get something that you can use a padlock on right on the zip and then there's obviously there's contraband materials um they don't allow mirrors um big mirrors i was able to I was able to take this small one this is my small mirror because i told the guy that oh it's just a small mirror let me be using it to be looking at myself at least so he allowed me and then it's not like it has any sharp edges or anything um forks are not allowed um breakable cups are not allowed extensions are not allowed as a matter of fact you can't even there there is no there is very few sockets in the rooms like in my room it was just two sockets so i used to go to mommy markets to go and charge now mommy markets is where you get food you get some other stuff that you need maybe if you need to get a fanny pack if you need to get shorts white shoes um um a white top anything you need basically anything you need is in mommy markets my market is not, only, is not only in Lagos, it's in all the camps. The markets in any NYSC camp is called Mami Markets. Then the thing um, is that you should try not to take your valuables. Anything that is very, very valuable, apart from your phone, don't take it. Now, your phone, the issue of charging your phone, um, I don't know how they do it in other camps, but in Lagos camp, it was very, very secure. At first, I was very skeptical about going to charge my phone in Mami Markets and leaving it there. But then the thing is that when you want to charge your phone, they will give you a tag, right? And you have to show the tag before you even pay and collect your phone back. So it was very, very secure. I don't know how they did it in other camps because I, I honestly do not know. But the most advisable thing to do is to get a power bank. Like, guys, a power bank is very, very important when you're going for NYSC camp. Get a power bank. If you don't want to leave your phone to charge in mommy market or in your room, just charge your power bank instead. Then you can use your power bank to charge your phone. Right. I used to try to keep my phone and my power bank charged all the time because I had to do a lot of vlogging and you know I didn't want to miss anything. Right. Now talking about camp activities, try not to shy away from stuff like sports. Even if you're just a cheerleader or you're sorry, like you're just cheering people on, try to check people on, try to be um available for some things. You know, there's there's each platoon is assigned to a day to be on duty for every day. So um, when they assign your platoon to be on duty, let's say today is platoon one, tomorrow is platoon two, tomorrow is platoon three, like that. So when it's time for your own platoon to be on duty, you know, sometimes it will take attendance. I'll admit I was actually guilty of not being present during some platoon, um, when my platoon was on duty, because my platoon was on duty twice. And <laughs> I, I slacked, I slacked in that area, I'll not lie. But try to be present. Then also try to just have fun and enjoy yourself like try to do you know all those manual war activities where you're like climbing ropes jump jumping this crawling on the ground try to do it like see don't let anybody to make you to be scared or anybody to make you to to chicken out try to do all those things because like those are the memories that you're going to have forever try to take pictures pictures that you're going to show to your children to your family to you get to your loved ones take pictures take your pictures now talking about manual war when you when they give you your kit like your khaki see i'm advising you if you want to slim it down because they're going they might, they might just give you one that's just very very big so you just fit it to your body according to however you want now there are tailors in my market that can help you to do all that so when you get your khaki don't slim it down too much don't slim it down too much because by the time you you have to walk and do manual work or even sit down it might be too tight so so slim it down in such a way that you still be able to walk, you still be able to run, you still be able to like climb something. Because you know we've always there's always that one person in camp that their trousers will always tear during manual activities. 
there's always a case of somebody's trouser getting torn and you don't want to be embarrassed like that so try to make sure that your kit is not too tight now for your jungle boots it's always much better for you to get shoes that are a size bigger than you now my shoe size is either 40 or 41 depending on if the shoe runs small or big so um my normal size is actually 41 standard size is 41 and they didn't have 41 for boots so i took 42 instead the 42 was fine but there was something wrong with the right leg so i exchanged one of my roommates and i took 44 instead it is better for your boots to be bigger than for your boots to be smaller take it from me that's that now for your white canvas because you have to wear shoes all the time like shoes and socks so for your white canvas get the ones that are rubber see nobody's looking at you nobody cares if it's if it's real or fake whether they wrote nike here whether they wrote adidas there whether they really there see nobody cares wear it like that you see a lot of them wear it like that the reason why i'm saying you should get rubber is because so that it will be easy for you to just wash i used to wash my canvas every day and it was just easy because the minute you wash it it's rubber you can just use a small rag to just clean it do you understand and you can wear it back outside um i had two but i used to wear only one now another thing you should take note of is your rubber canvas get a size that is bigger for you because if you get a size that is exactly your size it's going to pinch your toes it's going to pinch your feet and it's going to be very very uncomfortable especially like maybe when you're matching and the whole the whole place is hot do you understand so take that one into consideration then um also try to okay they're going to give you um white shoes nyc branded white shoes but they are really flat um it's best to know where it's in camp because like washing it is going to be very difficult so just save it for maybe when you have to do your cds or all those kind of runs do you understand so i don't know if i've covered everything um Yeah, when you get to camp, you're going to search your luggage, search your luggage for contraband. If you watch my first vlog, you see how they were searching my own luggage. Like, I was so embarrassed when it was happening because there was... Okay, I had diapers there because I was on my period when I was going to camp. And imagine being on your period and having to wear whites. So, I was not even... I was not even prepared to be stained. You get when, like, you're not even prepared for nonsense. I was not prepared to be stained. Not on my bed sheet, not on my wrapper, not on my white, not on my pants. So I was not prepared for any of that. So I just took, I just took diapers and the guy was not really searching my box. Something really annoying happened. He was searching my underwear to search like the underwear because I kept my underwear in a separate place. And he was now trying to open it, touch it. I was like, please, that's my underwear. Don't touch my underwear. <laughs> don't touch my underwear. I don't care. It's not even because you're a man. Like, just don't touch my underwear. It's, it's weird. Like... I personally feel like it's rude to touch people's underwear except for maybe um some specific reasons or cases you get but like you're just touching my underwear like it's nothing like bro it was very very weird now what annoyed me is that the person beside him now said no be man will touch you one day i was like that's not a criteria like don't 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 do that <laughs> don't don't annoy me don't do don't don't annoy me it was just very annoying then there was the covid test covid test is very very uncomfortable heads up it's just a heads up covid test is extremely uncomfortable now they'll stick a cotton swab in your nose and then they'll take it up like you can literally feel it here you can't not like you can feel the the swab here you can just feel the effect of what they are doing here or at the back of your head so it's very uncomfortable but it only lasts for like five seconds so you'll be fine the soldiers um the soldiers in camps are different, so I can't give you a generic idea of what soldiers are like, but they are very strict. And you have to wake up every morning for manual war drills. And by like 4.50, you have to be on the parade ground to get. So there's that. So just be prepared to sleep early so you can wake up early. Now, most of the times in the night, there's always like a social activity. So um, they don't let us go until, let's say, 9 or 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock till 10.30. Okay, 10 o'clock is lights out, but all the lights have to be really out by 10.30. So, whatever you're doing, make sure that you finish fast. Now, let me give you a special trick. Something special that you should do when you get to camp. You know you have to wake up early in the morning. You have to be downstairs by 4.50 because you actually have to, have to be there by 5. But everybody starts moving out by 
so now there's always the issue of oh my god how am i going to rush and have my bath and all that this is the trick the night before have your bath before you go to sleep then when you wake up you can go downstairs without having when you wake up in the morning by that four o'clock four thirty four fifty you can go downstairs without having your bath because you've had your bath the night before do you understand so now after the manual wardrobes in the morning they will give a time for everybody to go and do their thing wash their clothes you know get ready and all that use that period after that early manual wardrobe use that period to now have your bath for the day do you understand it's a lot better and then later in the night before you go to sleep you have your bath again so that the next morning when you wake up you don't have to be rushing and be entering the bathrooms now first of all there might be no power for you to even wake up so you now have to be entering the bathrooms in the dark with torch lights and be bathing in the dark very very uncomfortable you don't know whether any disgusting insect like a cockroach is going to come and climb on your body or something so it's better for you to have your bath the night before in the night there's always lights they'll put on the lights so you're gonna have your bath now the reason i'm saying this is because there's no point waking up by three to have your bath and then going downstairs by five or waking up by four to have your bath then going downstairs by 4 50 to go and sweat because that's why you do manual wardrobe you will sweat you will now come back upstairs and have your bath again do you get like there's no point so just have your bath the night before go downstairs in the morning come again have your bath and then the night rinse and repeat rinse and repeat do you understand so um i think i think that's everything i think i've covered everything try to be friendly with everybody you know you don't know where you're going to meet people tomorrow you don't know who you're going to need tomorrow try to be friendly with everybody the soldiers try not to let them take advantage of you a lot of the male soldiers are very thirsty like i can tell you this from experience they are very very thirsty and i personally feel like they 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 like to prey on the girls or obviously on the girls because um they like to look for maybe girls that are naive or girls that are you know immature so now i'm telling you woman to woman right if any soldier comes to tell you any nonsense see know your worth don't allow anybody to come and be telling you oh baby i want to be with you in the night as it's very cold and it's raining so that i can be happy because that's what somebody told me what a soldier told me i'm telling you i want to be close to you so that i can be happy my friend will you get out <laughs> do i know you from anywhere it's so crazy i told him don't i don't appreciate you speaking to me like that don't speak to me like that because for you to speak to me like that means that you don't have any respect for me and neither do you have any respect for yourself so please no matter how thirsty you are no matter how body is doing you like what i don't know see it's not worth it don't go and be with anybody that's going to degrade you do you understand unless unless you feel like the person has pure intentions unless you just want to catch crews but don't let anybody make you an object of ridicule trust me and if you think i didn't cover anything please let me know in the comment section um i hope this video was helpful enough please help me share i know that there's a lot of people who are going for camp in a few weeks time help me share this video help me you know tell your friends to subscribe you subscribe and you know leave your comments i always like to read the comments okay and try to watch my other videos anticipate the ones that are going to come next okay okay